Mr. Navarro, forgive my intrusion. I needed to see you and see you today. Mr. Navarro, Mr. Navarro, I have arrived at a stunning conclusion. And I feel I would lose my resolve if I didn't come here directly to say. I've decided to marry you. I've decided to marry you. I've decided though Henry's gone that life goes on for me. I have thoroughly thought it through. And the man that I want is you. Though it's true there are quite a few who strongly disagree. Nonetheless I will marry you. I confess that I'm frightened too. But unless I am wrong you long for love as much as I. This is quite unconventional I'll admit. But why should that matter a whit? And if you do not say yes at once I think Dicegriff, you've rendered me speechless. May I call you Phoebe? What am I doing here? This could be dangerous if I'm discovered. Imagine the scandal and I couldn't handle a scandal so visible. I'll stay invisible still as can be. But what's going on in there? I can hear voices. I recognize my two, but is that a woman? And if that's a woman, then what is she doing here? Is it that cousin I wish I could see? If it's that cousin, it might just be business. It's family business and none of my business. But why is she here in the home of a bachelor? Of course one could point out that I'm here as well But does she not realize the situation puts her reputation severely in question The merest suggestion could cause a sensation And I cannot hear which is hell I'll be warned not to marry I you I could go home I'll be scorned if I marry I you I should go home Still I decided to live my life and be my wife again We believe how my life has turned I should be off After grieving I've quit But he makes me laugh There is nothing can bend the will Like half Castilian men And this goodness to spare him Well isn't this fun And a gentleness there in you she you have taken a wounded bird and taught her how to fly. Family business, my eye. This is quite unconventional, is it not? Rather a turn in the plot, and so will I be your fiance. Why don't you send the cow away? Baby, darling. When I recall this day, I think I'll cry. Oh, what was that? What was what? That sound. Is there someone here? Oh, oh, pay no attention. That's my new manservant. He's just finding his way around. I'll be with you in a moment. Wadsworth? Isn't this madness who could foresee how one trick of timing could ruin it all? One in the parlor, one in the bedroom, nothing between them but me and a wall. Look at Phoebe, noble and pious, my esteem for her only grows. But when I am with Phoebe, I am on fire, thinking of Sibella, full of desire, passion, and dare I say it, love. But when I'm with Sibella, whom do I admire? None but Phoebe, perfect and lovely, who couldn't love her, heaven knows. Round and round and round it goes! How happy I'd be to be at your disposal, my darling, of course I accept your proposal. Now we should kiss. That would be bliss. Darling, but first as of this, I've decided to marry you. Baby, what are they do? I've decided to marry you. Sibella, what are they do? Let the trumpet and wish the bell you fall and set me free. Then again, the Sibella, yes, I've decided to marry you. Monty, I will marry you, baby. Marry you. Look, Look what you've done, done to me. Baby, Monty, 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 Monty! I'm grateful indeed for your gracious bestowment. Yes, Wadsworth, I told you, I'll be just a moment! Now, Monty, dear, I think I now should go. Oh, oh. But I still want to marry you. Even so. I decided to marry you. Just go. I'm longing to marry you. Yes, I'm delighted to marry you, marry you, marry you. Shame, you must go. Go.